I think it's hard to know how serious the question, what is the meaning of life, is. Um, in one sense, it's, of course, a momentous question, one of the most momentous questions you could ask. In another sense, there's something inescapably funny about it. It's, a, it's, com it's very serious and it's very comic at the same time, which is no doubt why it attracted people like the Monty Python team. Um, the idea, there's something amusing, I think, in the idea that everything, everything we know, life, can stack up to a single thing. You know, there could be a single answer to it, as I think Douglas Adams proposes, uh, the answer is 42. Um, that's funny, isn't it, to think of it in that way, and yet at the same time, it may be a real question. Philosophers, and part of what I do in my book, is to say that philosophers have argued over how real is this question. Is it a genuine question? It looks like, sounds like a genuine question, or is it a fake question? For example, is there a single thing called life which could have a meaning? Huh? Or, or, or is that just, just a mistake? Um, if there is a single thing called life, um, in what sense could it have a meaning? I mean, do things have meanings in the way they have shapes or colours or textures? Um, is it a single meaning? What is the meaning of life? Eh? And may, maybe there are different meanings. Um, is, there, is the meaning of life something sort of built into life, so it's there whether we like it or not? It's there even if we never discover what it is, for example. Or is it what you make it? You know? Well, all of these questions are discussed in the book. Um, and, but rather than just copying out and analysing the question, which of course is what philosophers always do to avoid giving answers, I do review various possible answers. Um, for example, happiness. You know, one, the, is happiness the meaning of life? Well, in order to find out, you'll just have to read the book.